How's your afternoon going? Not a bad little view. Sun is coming up, are you ready to go? We can take a ride, we can take it slow. Your will is my law, I'ma let you be the boss, cause I'll go where you go. So yes, I'm back. I thought I'd just make a video now, maybe a couple more to put out there just before I leave from the last few days. And this is one I promised um, to one of my subscribers. I actually promised that I'd do a review of the beer, this beer right here, the Chang Espresso. I'm also reviewing a couple of other beers as well. I'll do a comparison of how they do taste compared to, you know, the Western beers we've got equivalent. Um, and this one, I don't think, you know, don't think there is another espresso one that we serve. Definitely not in the UK. Maybe some other country around the world. This is the first time I've seen one, though, you know, espresso beer. If I'm wrong, put quotes down, you know, comments down below. And, um, you know, I'll appreciate that feedback. So when I visit that country, maybe I can try it again. So, yeah, I'm going to start off, really, by just showing you my one of my favourite restaurants here, actually, in Pattaya. And it's a chain throughout Thailand, maybe even Asia. And it's Akka Korean Food. Korean barbecue, where you actually cook your own food. So I'm just gonna show you that quickly now. And then we get on to these these beer reviews, which is the reason why, you know, you yeah, are Yeah, Akka is based in the Central Festival Mall, just off Second Road in Pattaya. And here we have the menu, as you can see. Yeah, you got the Meat Lovers, 339 baht, 439 baht for the regular. And the one I always go for, definitely worth the money, the premium at 549 baht. I'll put the conversions here for you, I mean, what it would cost. Um, but yeah, no, that's, that's definitely what I always go for when I do indeed go to Akka. So this is how you order it. You literally put a number next to the items you want. Good thing is they're in Thai, but they're also in English as well. So yeah, you just put a one next to pork belly, for example, um, and then put two next to some butter dory, if that's what you like. And it's as easy as that, hand it to them, they some prawns cooking. Great, you know, gorgeous stuff there. And here's a stack of food that I've ordered um, to get through. I think you have 90 minutes, maybe two hours, but I'm not sure, I need 90 minutes to eat as much as you possibly oh, yeah. can. You also get dessert as well. I've got some vanilla ice cream here, a few marshmallows to barbecue on. And um, here is a brown sugar jelly thing. It's really nice to be perfectly honest. And then two little shots fresh your palette as well so yeah here's the qr code if you want to scan look at the menu yourself and um let's go on with the beer reviews i'd recommend it i'd probably give Akka 9.2 out of 10 great place to eat so welcome back i'm going to give you these beer reviews now so let's have a look see what these are saying i was going to buy actually all three of the um beer Lao ipa and there's also a dark beer and also a white beer i have tried this before i've tried two of the beers in the list already, I'll tell you which ones I have tried prior, and then I'll tell you this will be an instant reaction on the other two beers. Um, the, the espresso one being the one I haven't tried. So yeah, we'll crack this open, and then I'll give it a little score. So here we go, I'll show you how it pours. Always quite important how a beer does pour. Give it a bit of a head. Don't need too much in there, but you can see it pours like a nice IPA. So you get in the UK. And it tastes very much like, you know, a lot of the ones we get, maybe Hobgoblin, something like that. How I would say this definitely compares to. So, um, you know, that's the thing. I would definitely say, you know, Beer Lao is great. It also does come in a dark beer, which I would say similar to Lefe Brun, uh, but it's not quite a strong flavor and it's not as high as alcohol content. And then there's also a white beer, which is a little bit like your Ho Garden, but probably, again, not quite as nice, but it's definitely cheaper um, in terms of that. I think these are about 60 baht each, so about £1.50, $2. And I say they're definitely an upgrade from Leo, even though that is my favourite beer and the beer I do drink on a regular basis. So, yeah, that's what I've got here. IPA, what do I want to give it? It's good for an IPA if that's what you like. You like to drink something different. Um, wouldn't drink every day, but I'll give it 8.4. I think that's pretty fair. Definitely a drinkable beer. On to the next one. So here we go. This is our second beer, let focus. It's a rice berry beer by Cheers. All these beers are actually produced in Thailand as well. I think I did check that. Didn't do a lot of details. Maybe they're also brewed elsewhere around the world. 
don't know if they're exclusive to Thailand. You know, one's called Beer Lao, the one we saw a minute ago. So, yeah, probably beer brewed in Lao as well, but I don't know. It says on the bowl, Thailand. So, produced in Thailand. Okay, let's have a taste. First of all, we'll see how this pours. I have tried this before. It was a couple of months ago. So don't really remember what it does taste like. Get a bit of head on there. Always good. In patio to get a bit of head. And, um, seems like someone's at the door. Sorry about it, I got rudely interrupted. But, you know, these things happen. Someone's at the door. So, yeah, pour this again. Gotta go back. And, um, yeah pours nicely so this is um rice berry you know what on earth is rice berry i don't know you can do your research um purple rice to brew to a unique asian european style dark lager that's what it says on the can okay Whew. tastes like rice yeah tastes like rice um Bit like a sort of dark beer or like a kind of heavier beer, but with a definitely distinct rice taste to it. Well, don't say it's unpleasant. If you like rice, you're not sick of it. When you're in Thailand, you tend to be a lot of rice. If you want some more, this is the one for you. What would I give it in terms of a score? Well, it's not the best. Not really for me. Let's give it a 7.2. I think that's pretty fair. Okay, all right, we're down a couple of beers now. And I've got a couple, a few more, there are two more for you to go. Okay, I'll tell you two more. I was gonna keep you in suspense there, but decided not to. And these two are really interesting ones. They're ones I haven't tried. So, start with this one. And it's a raspberry beer, raspberry rose beer. Now, I know there's um, Fromage, or whatever it's called. I'll put the picture up here. One I drink, do drink in the UK, so I will be able to compare it. This one's got this little tab at the top. You get this in a lot of hotels. I think it's to do with import tax being paid. Something like that anyway. I'll open hotels hotel as well to see if you've actually got it from the mini bar. So let's get this one cracking. See how this one pours. I know that flavoured drinks in general, cider and beer, become very popular over the last couple of years. So this one pours. It's got definitely a red, rosy colour to it. We'll see how this is. I'm not serving any of these with ice. It's quite a common thing in Thailand to serve Leo beer and other beers with ice. I don't think necessarily these ones will work. But that's got a big head on that one. Definitely. So, look at the colour. That's a pretty bright red. Looks similar to the strawberry beers and the raspberry beers I have tried in the UK as well. So let's see what the taste is like. That's always a test. Taste test is always more important than what it looks like. Okay, I'm pleasantly surprised. I thought it was gonna be awful. I'm pleasantly surprised. It's actually pretty good quality. I'd say it's not as good as from Osh, or whatever it's called, I can't even say the name. Don't even know what the brand is, but the one I put up earlier, up here, not quite as good as that, but it's not far off. It's definitely a good effort. Again, I think this one is made in Thailand as well. Just check the can. It says product of Thailand on there. I'll show you guys here, they all say that. Product of Thailand. So, um, you know, that's what they all say on here. And um, yeah, it's produced in Thailand and it's a Thai beer. I think it's pretty good. This is made by, I think it's um, Full Moon. Full Moon's a brand, I think so anyway. Okay, so this one here, what am I gonna give it? Very impressed. It's gotta be in the eights, 8.3. I think that's pretty fair score. So definitely recommend trying this one next time you're in Thailand. Cheers, everyone. Yes, we've got our last beer here. Sorry I had to wait for this one, guys. But you know, this is the espresso chain. Espresso chain. Do you drink this for breakfast? Do you drink this in the afternoon? Late morning? Probably don't drink it at night if it's got coffee in it, because you ain't gonna sleep. Certainly wouldn't recommend these when you go on a bender. But yeah, so I'll crack it open. <sighs> Always like that. Wow. Pungent coffee smells straight away. This is gonna be interesting. Let's see how it is. And here we go, you can see it pour. Well, it looks like an iced coffee after all the ice has melted, really. I think that's enough. Is this gonna be good or is it gonna be absolutely awful? I'm 50-50 on it, I think it could be quite nice, but, hmm. Okay, I'm gonna jump in. 
Gonna be brave, gonna try it. Only for you guys. Good double swig. And um, yeah, it tastes of coffee. Very much like a rice one. Tastes like coffee. Not sure I wanna drink it for breakfast. That's maybe on a stag bill or something like that. But um, as a refreshing drink, I think this one could be good over ice. Um, then I might try that later on. Again, you know, maybe the rice one would be good over ice as well. I think definitely the raspberry one could have been served over ice. Wouldn't recommend the IPA or any of the beer lows to be served over ice, but overall, pleasant. Good job. And I'm not enough percent sure this one is produced in Thailand. It's Chang. I know Chang's a Thai beer, one of the most popular ones, along with Leo and also Singer. So, you know, this one, again, they're producing quality beers here. You have to try it. If you just go to 7-Eleven, pick up a beer, try it. And it's probably gonna be pretty good based on what I've experienced today. So yeah, this one here, again, I'm pretty impressed with it. It's not really my cup of tea, it's a bit weird. But in terms of quality, and if you're a coffee lover, a coffee connoisseur even, I'd have to give this one an 8.1. I think that's definitely a fair score, high score, and uh, an enjoyable drink. I will try it later on over rice. But that's it for now, that's all the beers. It's been great. Thank you very much for joining. Hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah, at the end of the day, there's a few beers there you probably never tried, maybe not even heard of. One of the ones, you know, the um, raspberry one, I hadn't heard of before today. The, uh, the um, beer Laos, the IPA, the dark beer, and the wheat beer, the white beer, I definitely recommend. But the espresso one, you gotta try it once. I can probably drink it over ice. And if you like your sweeter beers, um, I'd recommend the raspberry one. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, you are incredible. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Much appreciated, and I'll see you on the next one. Let's see if I can get a couple more before I leave. You won't regret